Well, hello there. This is Seminopolis coming back with another video. Uh, this time I am building. It's a speed build, not a let's play. And I'm guessing let's play. It's I don't know. I'm done with it for right now. Uh, yeah, but this is a speed build, and I am building a Tudor style um, mech mansion. Now, if you don't know what a mech mansion is, you can just Google it. Um, I guess I've done one before, but. Mm, it was more of a Georgian style, not a Tudor style. So this time it's a Tudor style, it fits perfectly in Windenburg. Uh, yeah, and I don't know, maybe you can play with the new paranormal stuff pack in this house uh, because it's all dark and there are like, I don't know, the, the whole place is just old and it has some, I don't know, wood paneling everywhere it, it looks ha like haunt material <laughs> i don't know if that's even a world or not but it looks like it could be a haunted place uh yeah so this is a mac mansion so i mean you can pretend like it was an old house that uh has gotten renovated and like i don't know uh there were many extensions to it and because of those many extensions it turned out being a mac mansion or you can just i don't know um think that it was it's a new build like most of the mac mansions but it was built on a i don't know uh an old burial ground or whatever uh yeah so the time I'm recording this is actually the same day the live stream of the paranormal stuff pack came out. Uh, yeah, I have actually I didn't watch the one that was in uh, I don't know the the Sims YouTube channel. I watched the one, um, yeah, the the Pixelate one. Like uh, I'm guessing you you know Pixelate. He's I don't know uh, he does like a whole controversy type of sims videos uh yeah um it's controversies and predictions and stuff uh yeah um i like his channel and yeah um, i'm guessing sim aaron does a lot of similar stuff too uh anyway i watch both channels but pixelate made like um uh, I don't know what type of a live reaction to the whole live stream and I don't know for me that was actually better than watching the live stream itself because I mean there was a lot of people you were communicating with and you were reading other like I don't know you're reading the comments of other people as well while you were doing so I don't know because the live stream was a bit boring so the chat made it a lot better, to be honest. Yeah. So anyway, I watched it on Pixelate's channel, the one where he does his reaction on it, like live reaction. Uh, yeah, and I'm actually glad I did that because, as I said, like the whole live stream was very boring and the energy was just very low. Uh, yeah. So anyway, it was better to actually watch it with other people. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, so, uh, I actually, I, I don't know, it's, I pre-ordered the pack, uh, yeah, and I know that stuff packs don't get pre-ordered, but I buy most of my packs from Instant Gaming, uh, and this is, I don't know, they, they didn't sponsor me, I, I hope they sponsor me one day uh because i love them but yeah this is not a sponsorship or anything that's just an advice uh yeah so you can actually pre-order the pack from instant gaming and i pre-ordered it already like for eight bucks instead of ten bucks and they always have discounts and i uh, like on the packs mostly on the stuff packs you're gonna have to wait a bit for stuff packs and for expansion packs sorry they they have um yeah, discounts on most of the expansion packs, like almost all the time. Uh, yeah, but for the stuff packs and game packs, I'm guessing you are gonna have to wait a bit until, I don't know, a whole discount drops. Uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, I have already saved like 
almost 500 bucks on the packs just buying yeah, buying them from instant gaming so anyway my point was that i pre-ordered um, the pack from them and they are gonna send me the code on the 20 that like they wrote me they're gonna send me the code either on the 25th or the 26th but i'm guessing it that it's gonna be the 26th because because of the release date uh yeah depends on the timing for like from the us or stuff but uh anyway i'm guessing like um I don't know, they, do they give the timing in Easter time or Pacific time? I'm guessing it's, it's gonna be on the 26th in the US, Pacific time, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, so maybe if you're in another time zone or something, the timing would change for you. But anyway, so I pre-ordered it and I'm waiting for the pack and... I don't know, in the spirit of the whole paranormal stuff pack, I... I'm actually planning on building the whole, like most of the paranormal activity houses. Like, if you are a fan of like horror films, there is like a whole film series that's called Paranormal Activity. They have like a couple of, um, I don't know, a couple of parts for it, like sequels. Uh, yeah, and. They are actually, most of them are playable, like, I don't know, it's gonna be great because it won't be like this house that is only purposed for like hauntings and stuff because if you want to just take out the haunted lot trait, um, yeah, you can just, not lot trait, sorry, it's, I don't know, a lot type because I get those two mixed up. Uh, yeah, you can just take out the haunted lot type and it's gonna be a perfectly normal and great family home. Uh, so that's what I'm planning to do for now. Uh, yeah, but however, like, this speed build and I'm guessing there's another house that I finished. I just have to take some screenshots and do all the video editing. Uh, it's a craft smell style house, so stay tuned for that if you want to see that. So, I don't know, like after this house, there is gonna be another speed build, uh, some sort of a craftsman style house. And after that, like the whole paranormal activity houses uh, will begin, like the speed builds of them will begin. Or maybe I'm gonna mix it up, like maybe because the pack is coming in the next couple of days. So maybe I'm gonna, I don't know, postpone the whole craftsman style house after that like after i finish the paranormal activity houses first and also like don't take me up on that because maybe i won't be able to finish it because my exams are starting like i don't know in two weeks and i have to study like i've already made my mat like finish my material because the way i study is that i go through like all the um lectures and scripts and stuff and i basically make a whole um question and answer catalogs type of thing uh yeah like whenever i see something that's worth questioning or something that might get questioned in, in the exam i write it down and i write the answer under it and then i'm just i just gonna have to go through it after all like this this is like basically laying the I don't know the groundwork uh so i'm done with that or mostly i'm done with that but i'm just gonna have to sit down and actually study for the exams like that's the hard part because i have the attention span of the squirrel uh yeah anyway so the working part is done but uh like the whole part of me making materials to study from that's done uh, I'm just gonna have to actually study like yeah uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to finish the whole houses before the pack releases or I don't know within the f same time zone the uh, the time frame the pack releases because I I also don't want to finish the houses like I don't know um, 
a couple of months after the pack freezes, I wanna I wanna do it on time. Uh, so I won't stress myself out. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but I'm gonna try and finish the whole pack. L sorry, the whole builds before or within the time frame of the pack releasing. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Anyway. Um, if you do download this house for some reason in the breakfast nook area, uh, yeah, there one of the I don't know one of the windows disappear, so you're just gonna have to add that yourself. Uh, yeah, and in this build because I usually or not usually I always forget to place the mailbox and the. Um, I don't know that trash can uh, this time I did not forget to do that but I did forget to clutter the kitchen so the kitchen is I don't know the kitchen is pretty bland like yeah it's only the cabinets and stuff and the appliances but I mean my whole idea was actually making this also suitable for the paranormal stuff pack because the house is very dark and it looks as i said it looks like it could be haunted so anyway like most of the horror movies you, you have a family that moves in a house uh yeah so that's why you're gonna see like a, a whole moving truck uh driving into that driveway because in i don't know in my mind like the family has just moved in and I mean, they could have just n not unpacked, like they, it would be possible that they would not have unpacked their boxes yet. And maybe the furniture, like, I don't know. I mean, in the US, you kind of get the, the kitchen with the house. If you're in Europe, that's another thing. Like if you if you're in Europe, it's very normal to actually rent a place, and when you actually arrive, you don't see any kitchen, and you're gonna have to buy like a whole kitchen set yourself. Uh, yeah, but so anyway, it could be possible like they have just unpacked and I don't know, uh, mantled like the whole bedroom stuff. But they just haven't gone through the kitchen stuff yet so i don't know that's kind of my way of justifying that i didn't clutter up the kitchen uh yeah but i mean you you're gonna have to give me credit that i didn't forget the mailbox or the trash cans uh yeah so that's it uh so this part is actually very nice because it's like a two it's a split room like a kind of it's because it's it's a long narrow room but it's split in two pieces like one is like some sort of a casual hanging area living area like i don't know living room casual living room that's what i'm starting to say and hang area hangout area where you can just watch tv casually and stuff and the other part is the breakfast nook and it has like this, um, like both places have like a fireplace and then some sort of a, like the windows are just wrapped around the whole place. So, I mean, it looked very nice, uh, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. And in the, um, I don't know, in the whole, I'm guessing it's called a great room because, yeah, the room I'm working on right now. Uh, and the upstairs landing, I put like the whole, I don't know, the spandlers areas and stuff and played a lot with the columns to give it like some sort of a old timey look, like as if the house has been built for a very long time and the whole beams and stuff are helping to, I don't know, keep this keep the place from falling down yeah so to speak uh yeah anyway uh and yeah the the bedroom downstairs has actually a very interesting shape 
because I was following a floor plan and for some reason like the master bathroom, like the bathroom, at the ensuite attached to the master bedroom, uh, they called it like a Roman bathroom and I mean I have no idea what a Roman bathroom is. Uh, yeah, I'm not an interior designer or anything, so I don't know what that is, but I tried to do it, uh, yeah, as close as possible as my imagination would go, uh, like my imagination of what a Roman bathroom would look like. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's, it has like a, a bathtub next to a fireplace uh yeah and there's like a whole open shower area uh yeah it's not divided by any dividers and stuff um yeah i'm saying um a lot and i actually got a comment before about that but i can't stop it and i mean i either speak very quickly that Actually, like I speak very fast that no one understands me and it doesn't depend on which language I'm speaking Like no one would understand me uh, when I actually speak very fast And when I slow down the M's start And when I was actually in school like uh, I had this teacher once that actually counted like when I was like, when it was my turn when I actually like raised my hand and actually had like build up the courage to say something then she would actually count how many times i said i sorry how many times i said um and that then became a thing in class like i don't know that kind of took off in all of the other subjects like when that teacher wasn't around the the whole class starting counting because that's what they were used to and i mean the whole thing was just horrible yeah, it, it didn't make the whole situation, it didn't make the situation better. Like, that's the problem. And I mean, I had, I had some problems like in, uh, like some, I don't know, speech problems or stuff. Uh, when I was growing up, like as a child before. Uh, yeah, but it wasn't like, um, my problem was that. I don't know, I went through a lot of, like, I don't know how to explain it, but anyway, like, my mother had actually took me to some sort of a speech therapist, I don't know what they're called, and she basically told her that I don't need therapy, I don't need speech therapy, and she told her that the, the thing is that, because I grew up learning, like, three languages, uh, yeah, and I had a, a lot of I don't know, vocabulary in my head. So she told her that I don't need speech therapy. It's just uh, like the thing is like the whole trick is that no one should actually address the whole idea and it would go by itself. And what caused it is because what caused the whole thing is that I, I, I actually have a lot of vocabulary in my head and I just cannot decide like my mind cannot decide which topic or which word I should be using so whenever I actually started the conversations it would take me like a couple of seconds before I actually decide on on the words yeah, <laughs> that's what I was trying to say before I, I would decide on the words uh, yeah um, so I mean that change that did change but the m's stayed yeah that's the thing uh anyway that's about it and now we are working on the backyard so there is gonna be like a whole raised a pool thing and it will be covered by a privacy fence yeah and for some reason the stairs wouldn't work, they wouldn't place, so there would be a one tile wide stair going sideways. It wouldn't look like that. Uh, yeah, anyway. And I'm guessing that was the point where one window disappeared because I figured that out in the screenshots and I had already uploaded the... Yeah, there. The There is the part where the 
window disappeared. Yeah, and I figured that out when I was taking the screenshots after I had already uploaded the, I don't know, the, the build on the gallery. And I mean, I didn't want to take it down and re-upload it because, I mean, unlike YouTube, I actually have a couple of followers and a lot of downloads in, um, on the gallery and I had already gotten a couple of, I don't know, the hearts, like the favorite hearts and a couple of downloads, even though it was just a couple of seconds. Yeah, but I didn't want to lose that. Like, usually I do that. Usually I build up the courage to actually delete it, lose the whole downloads, like the the count, the downloads count and the whole favorites count and re-upload it. But anyway, uh, this didn't happen in that speed, but I just left it that way. So if you download it, as I said, just add the window. Anyway, so I'm guessing we are actually close to the end right now. So I want to wish you all to stay happy, healthy and safe. Yeah. So bye.